Welcome to Electron Line. Let's try our hand at a 3x3 three three matrix. We're trying to find the dominant eigenvector and the corresponding eigenvalue. We're going to use scaling because that enables us to see what things converge to when the numbers are large and they don't appear to be converging to anything. Also, this will give us an example where sometimes at first it doesn't appear to be converging. Sometimes the signs will toggle. When we stick with it long enough, we can actually make it work and we can actually get to the point where it appears to be converging. Let's start with the attempt at eigenvector of 1, 0, 0 and see where that leads us. When we multiply, we get the following, and yes, we are going to need some calculators pretty soon, but this begins easy. 5 minus 3 and 23. All right, that was easy. So that's going to be our next eigenvector attempt. We rewrite the same matrix. Minus 19, 5, minus, minus 2, three, 0, and minus 6. So our next attempt is going to be 5, minus 3, and 23. Obviously, no sign yet of convergence, so we're not even going to use scaling here. Okay, continuing. What do we get? This will be a little bit more difficult because there's no longer any zeros there. So we get 25 plus 6 is 31, and minus 46, 31 minus 46 would be minus 15. Let's make sure I got that right. 25, 31, minus 46. Yes, minus 15. Next, minus 15, minus 15 is minus 30. And here we get 23 times 5 plus 3 times 19. And minus 6 times 23, I get 34. Again, I don't think I need to use scaling here because I don't doesn't look like it's converging anywhere near what I'm looking for. So let's continue before we start scaling. And now we use this as a possible eigenvector. If you want to think about scaling, this is approximately a minus 1, a minus 2, and a plus 2, right? If you think about it, this is approximately minus 1, minus 2, plus 2. So at this point, I would say that's the approximate scaling factor, but since there's a mix of signs, we went from a plus to a minus, I wouldn't worry too much about scaling yet. Let's see what this one gives us. Good thing we have calculators because it would get quite complicated. Minus 75 plus 60 is minus 15. Minus 68 is 78. That's minus 83. Forty-five minus 150, that's minus 105. And 23 times minus 15 plus 19 times 30 minus 6 times 34, and I get 21. I don't think there's any reason to try to scale it yet, so let's continue and see what we get. If you want to scale it, this is what it would look like. This can be written as if we divide this by negative 105, we get a positive 1. 83 divided by a negative, negative 83 divided by a negative 105 gives us a 0 0.79. And 21 divided by a negative 105 gives us a negative 0 0.2. So we're not there yet. It doesn't look like anything is converging yet. Let's try our next attempt. And the new eigenvector. Minus 83, minus 105, and 21. Let's see what we get here. 83 times 5, that's a minus four, uh, 415. That would be plus 210. And minus 42. That gives us a minus 247. 
Next, 83 times 3 minus 525. And that would be 0. That gives us a minus 276. So I'm kind of looking ahead, and the ratio between those two is approximately 1 to 1. So that looks kind of good. Continuing on. Wow, that's a big number. And minus 6 times 21, we get minus 40. Now here for the first time, all three are the same sign. I think that's a good sign. Let's try to scale this and see what this looks like. We're going to divide everything by a minus 276. That becomes a positive 1. 246 divided by a minus 276. That becomes a 0 0.89. And here, a 40 divided by 276 equals a 0 0.14. Now notice that the top two numbers are beginning to converge to a one-to-one -one ratio. We don't know yet about the third number, but at least it's no longer negative, so that's a good sign. Let's continue and see what we get on the next step. Notice also this seems to be taking a lot of steps, and you may begin to lose heart saying, wow, this doesn't appear to be getting anywhere. So go just a few more steps and see what happens. At least you don't have to do it by hand, you can use your calculator. All right, 5 times 247, and that's a minus, so, all right, uh, 2 times 276, and plus 80, that's minus 603. Next, second row, this column, 3 times 247, minus 5 times 276, and that's a 0, so this becomes a minus 639. Now take a look at that. This is becoming very close to a 1 to 1 ratio, which is a very good sign. Now what about the third number? 23 times 247. Okay, the next number is plus 19 times 276, and finally plus 240, and it's minus 197. Now this is beginning to look like something. So again, I'm going to divide all numbers by a minus 639 and see what that reduces to. This will become a 1. This becomes a 0 0.94 and a 0 0.31. Okay, now more and more so the top two numbers look like their conversion to a to one-to-one -one ratio and the 0.31 it's a little bit early to say but it went from a negative to a 0.14 to a 0.31 perhaps something like a 0.5 well, we'll see. We'll do one more step and see. I'm beginning to think that this is approximately a 1, a 1, and a 0 0.5 ratio or a 2 to 1 ratio, and that may become our eigenvector. Matter of fact, it might not be a bad idea to try a 2 to 1 at this point because the numbers are getting quite large to see if that may indeed be your eigenvector. Let's try it. See what happens. So at this point, we'll go... 5 minus, minus 3, 19, 23, negative 2, 0, minus 6. And let's try the ratio of a 2, 2, 1 eigenvector and see what we get. So this is kind of a leap of faith, but we're getting close. It looks like a 1 to 1 is pretty sure. The last one, hmm, I don't know yet. We'll find out. Okay, it gives us 10 minus 4 minus 2, that's a 4. Next one, we get minus 6 plus 10, that's a plus 4. Wow, look at this, a 1 to 1 ratio, that looks good. How about the last one, did we guess right? 46 minus 38, that's 8, minus 6 is 2. Perfect, 
we have a 2 to, a two to 1 or a 4 4 2 ratio. Look, that is exactly the same. This is equal to 2 times a 2 to 1 ratio. At first, it really didn't look like it was going to converge, especially when the signs of the numbers were toggling back and forth. We went from plus, minus, plus, to minus, minus, plus, to minus, minus, plus, to all minuses, then it remained all minuses, and then the numbers began to converge to a 2 to 1 ratio, again using that scaling methodology. And then finally we realized that yes indeed, the vector is 2 to 1, and the eigen corresponding eigenvalue is 2. Vector equals 2 to 1, and the corresponding eigenvalue is equal to 2, and that's the fruits of our labor, of course, with the help of a calculator. And that's how we use the power method and scaling to as quickly as possible to converge to the proper eigenvector. And that's how it's done.